Hey everybody, my name is Chad Sackatch. I'm excited today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of this new uh, Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. Um, uh, as a disclosure, I'm an employee of part of Dell Technology, so I work for Pivotal. And uh, the backstory on this is that I've been uh, happily using this XPS 13 2-in-1 uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, even though I'm an employee, I bought it myself. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Uh, it's been on the road around the world at least three or four times with me um, and I use it every day in, uh, at work and uh, actually I recently changed jobs from Dell EMC to Pivotal and Pivotal issued me this uh, new uh, brand new MacBook Pro uh, 15 and I was talking with my colleagues at work and they said well we can't have that why don't you uh, check out the new XPS 15 and uh, do a compare so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this today uh, I'm going to then take uh, these machines out on the road uh, for the next month or so and I'll do some field reports about what I find and uh, my experiences uh, and we'll have a Mac versus uh, Dell XPS 15 kind of bake-off. So without further ado, let's open the box. It's a very nice black matte box um, and inside here is the brand spanking new machine. Um, one thing that is really cool I don't know if you can see this on the camera but basically the uh, plastic in this case is actually uh, made out of recycled plastic with 20% of it being reclaimed from the ocean which is kind of cool uh, environments important so let's take off the plastic wrap this is like Christmas and here we have this new machine it's interesting actually physically these two are pretty darn close. So again, here's the MacBook uh, Pro 15. Um, you can see if I put them beside each other, they have nearly the same dimensions. The MacBook is maybe a millimeter or two uh, wider, uh, meaning longer, and maybe a couple of millimeters uh, uh, thinner than the XPS 15. Um, and let's, uh, let's boot it up for the first time. Before I boot it up, um, you can see that it's got a series of Thunderbolt 3 uh, USB um, 3A uh, ports. Looks like a micro SD card, power meter on that side, and then two more um, USB uh, ports on this side. So lots of ports on this guy. Uh, very similar port configuration here actually, you know, two on this side, two on this side. Um, I'm going to actually be using an eGPU with this guy, so we'll see how that works um, in a little while. So, if I fire it up, um, one thing that is cool, I'll actually show this later on, but um, the thumbprint reader in both the MacBook and the XPS 15 is actually embedded into the power button. So you can do a biometric uh, uh, based uh, authentication. Inside my XPS uh, 13, there's a little separate um, um, thumbprint reader for the, uh, uh, on, the, on the keyboard. I've actually kind of, I love this machine. It's great, it's small, it's thin, it's light. It may actually still end up being the winner uh, of what I take out on the road with me because I do a lot of time on the road. But there's a few little niggly things, like the power button on the side is so tiny uh, that it's sometimes kind of hard to get at. Um, screen on this thing is really just amazing. Um, and one thing that I find really cool is the uh, uh, Windows hey Hello face-based... I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Oh, Cortana is here to help. Um, so, you know, what I see here is I see I'm going to have to log in. It's a great out-of-box experience. Uh, the Windows 10 team, by the way, has made a lot of improvements trying to make the out-of-box experience better. So I am now going to sign off. Um, I'm going to configure this machine as my primary. And uh, I'll put this guy into retirement for a little bit. Um, I'll share with you all uh, some quick, uh, a quick little video on this side of the table so you can see what do the screens look like. Uh, and whatnot, but the true test is how these things work on the road. So, without further ado, once again, this is Chad Sackatch uh, with this uh, unpacking and unboxing experience of the XPS 15. 
One thing I will highlight immediately is this is pretty cool. Um, I will not attempt to do that with my my MacBook Pro because that would destroy it. But uh, that is not a gimmick. I actually use these. Um, I use this guy in, um, in tablet mode all the time when I'm presenting. Uh, I did it just yesterday with a customer where I'm marking up things and doing it interactively. So uh, it's great to see that that exists in both of these. I, I can't believe that the Mac guys haven't jumped on that yet. In any case, I'm going to cut this. I'll come around. You can see these from the other side. Thanks. Have a great day.